Today I'm going to be having my boyfriend not only come home to me and Coco, but a baby. Someone knocked on the door and left a baby at our front door. What? I think that we should keep her. I feel like this is like a sign that like, like this is our baby. I can't even think straight because there's a baby inside here that we don't even know whose it is. Well, a bay, in good I know, boo. In LA, in a coop is brand new. With the gang, say with the gang. What up, TK family? It's your girl Trish, and your girl is back with another lit video for the channel. TK family, I am so 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 excited for this video for you guys if you haven't already be sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the Litus cup channel on youtube and go check out trishandcowmerch.com because this is about to be a fire video today i'm going to be having my boyfriend not only come home to me and coco but a baby doll what i did a couple days ago was i went on target.com and i purchased a little baby doll i tried to get like a realistic looking one that actually cries and stuff like that i have some batteries here but if it sounds too fake i obviously just won't put the batteries in and then i also got a little swaddle that i'll be able to wrap the little baby up in i've been waiting for cameron to leave the apartment and leave me by myself so that i could do this video for you guys but he said he was going to target and i low-key wanted to take a tk target trip but i sacrificed myself so that i could do this video for you guys and then when cameron comes home i'll be sitting on the couch telling him that like when I was sitting on the couch earlier I heard some crying outside our front door and I went out there and it was a baby I'm going to set up a second camera in our guest room back there so that when he asks to see the baby because odds are he's probably gonna want to see what the baby looks like I'm going to tell him that like I just put the baby down to sleep and I'm gonna go let her rest in that room and I don't want to wake her up again so that she starts crying again I'm going to unbox this baby and get her all swaddled up so this is the baby that I ordered. She's actually so cute. And literally when I was picking this out, I was like living my childhood dream because I used to love, love, love baby dolls. So I'm just gonna open her up and then I'll swaddle her. I actually don't know how to swaddle a baby, but I should probably learn because one day I'm gonna need to know. So I just finished putting the batteries in the baby. So if it sounds realistic enough, then we'll use it, like the noises that it makes. But if it doesn't, then obviously I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna shut the baby off because that definitely does not sound good. So I'll pretty much just say that like the baby was like crying and I finally got it to sleep so that like that's kind of the reason that I don't want him to see the baby and stuff like that. So now I'm just gonna put her in her little swaddle. It's so strange because when I was younger, like the baby dolls that we used to have, I mean, it wasn't that long ago, but like, I feel like the dolls have gotten so much better now. I don't know how to do a swaddle, so don't come at me guys, but I'm just gonna try my best to just wrap her up. So that's the swaddle that I'm going with. I feel like it's not that bad. So if I'm holding the baby like this, maybe I should cover her face a little bit more so that he doesn't see. I feel like this isn't really like a prank. This is more of like a to see what he does type of thing. Because if a baby was actually left at our door, like that's a situation that we would actually have to handle. It's not like I would just leave the baby out there. So this will be, this will be fun. So what I'm gonna do guys is I'm going to set up both the cameras and then we'll just wait for Cameron to get home from Target and then we'll just catch his reaction. So I'm in mommy mode right now. I have my little baby here. I kind of like covered her face so that like Cameron can't see her. And then if he comes close to me, I'll just like kind of like hold her like this. So it's been about like 18 minutes or so since that last clip. Cameron texted me that he's home now and that he's just grabbing the stuff in the car. So I'm going to be just like walking around, pacing, like acting super nervous and like don't know what's going on here. And then we'll just catch his reaction. Outside. I'm like, what the heck is that? There was a baby by our front door. Let me see. It's right here, baby. Come Let on, she's see. sleeping. I just put her to sleep. She was literally screaming. Me? I'm not kidding. She was literally screaming on the top of her lungs. Did the neighbors No, I knocked on their doors and I was like, do you know whose baby this is? 
And they were like, no, sorry. Let me see her. Nobody even saw her. Let me see her. No, like, what do you need to see, baby? She's finally see. sleeping. Shh, you have to lower your voice. She's finally sleeping. They left her outside of our door. Yes, in a little basket. Who, did you see anyone? No. You didn't I see heard, what they looked like, I heard, I, No, I heard crying out in the hallway, and I was like, what the heck is that? And then I heard two knocks on our front door and the crying continued. I'm like, what is going on? So then I went to the front door, I looked at the little people and I saw a little basket out there. They didn't leave another number? No, they didn't leave anything. No phone number, no number. No, I checked all over. I mean, I just saw the neighbor. What, did she say anything to you? No, she was going on a job. Yeah, no. I don't know what's going on, but like we don't really have another option besides keep her. Keeping her? Yes, what are we supposed to do? Trisha, I'm 21 and you're 20. So? There's we're not we're not ready for a kid. Baby. We have to call listen, 911 or something. No, listen, listen, listen. Life throws obstacles, okay? Life throws obstacles. You don't think we can handle a baby? We don't even know whose kid it is. It's literally a random kid. Okay, so we'll we'll take the right precautions, but I think that we should keep her. I feel like this is like a sign that like like this is our baby. What are baby, you thinking? I don't know. We. Can I see her? For what? What's the You difference? said we should keep her, so like, can I see her? What, what does it make a difference if you see her face, baby? I want to see, if we're going to keep her, baby, I want to see what she looks like. You don't need to right now. She's sleeping. Come on. She's nice and warm, nestled in her little blanket. That's how they left her, just like that. No, they had this blanket draped over a little basket thing. Where's the basket? There's no note in there? I threw it out. No. Where'd you throw it out? In the hallway. I didn't see nothing in the hallway. They probably took the trash out already. I didn't want to keep a random basket. So, so, so we have, you want to be the parents of this kid now? Babe, this was just thrown in our lap. I, I don't know what else we're supposed to do. That's what, we should call 911. Babe, you know how I am with babies and puppies and animals and stuff like that? I would feel so bad if like this was presented upon us and like we didn't take advantage of it. Like this is, I absolutely think we should call the police and like get all of that stuff situated, but I don't think that like we should give her up. I yeah, think this is a sign Do you premise. understand that this is serious? Like someone left a baby in front of I our know, door. That's why I think and now you want to, wait, but now you want to keep it. like. That's a lot, baby. We have to go through a whole entire process. We can't just take a baby in and keep it I undercover. I that. That's fine. No, I want to go the, the right route. But I think that, like, the right route for us would also be after we do all the, like, paperwork and stuff like that, I think that we should keep her. Oh, my God, bro. You... All right. We need a call. We need a call. We need a call. We need to call something, someone, anything. We need to call someone. Because so we can't just, we can't just keep the baby under I know, I know that. I'm if, not saying listen, we should. If you wanna if you truly think it's the right thing to do to adopt this baby which you're not even letting me see. You don't need to see her. Is if you see her face, is that gonna make you change your mind at all? No, not at all. But baby, if we're gonna adopt this this baby, I wanna see my daughter face. You want to see your daughter? Okay, but not yet. It's, she's not your daughter yet, babe. She's sleeping. Once she wakes oh up, my God, bro, like, we probably we had to contact the landlord and 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 get them to check the cameras to see at the front if oh, anyone yeah. came in here with the baby. Yeah, I'll definitely reach out to them. I'll definitely reach out to them. But in the meantime, we need to go to Target or something and get like a crib. Get all that stuff, diapers, bottles, pacifiers. Listen, I can't even think straight because there's a baby inside here that we don't even know whose it is. And how how could someone just come in here and, and just leave their baby in front of our door? Know, that doesn't make any sense and it's driving me crazy because that's messed up. I know, I know. Like, why would you do that? Like, how? 
How can you be such a like a, a parent? Like, how can you make the decisions to have a kid and then leave the kid just somewhere random, not knowing if the person's even gonna take the kid? I know. That's so messed up. I know. I hear you. I hear you. I know. To stop stressing so much. Everything will work itself out, baby. Everything will work itself out. I love you. We, our love. Is... All right. Can I see the baby? Though? No. It's Please, not necessary. Let me see it. It's not necessary. Baby, come on. Baby, it's not necessary. What's I want to see the baby's face. What's the point, babe? Come on. Come on, baby. What's Let the point? Let me see. What's the point, Cameron? What do you mean? What's the she point? She needs to go back to sleep. She's not even making no noises. Come on. Cameron, come on. Stop. Do not come in here. I'm not kidding. Do not come in here. I just want to see Cameron, your face. Cameron, no. You don't need to I see. I just want to see your face. What's the difference? What's the difference? What do you mean? What's the difference? What's the difference? If, if, it's you go, if we're gonna adopt her, which I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be agreeing with you. I want to take her in. Okay. I'm not gonna leave her just stranded. If I, if I want to take her in, and, and we're making a decision to agree on taking her in, I want to see my child. So let's go out there and talk. Let's go out there and talk. Wait. This is a big decision, baby. I know, and you are the head person saying that, oh, I want to adopt her, I want to get it. And I'm sitting here confused on, like, everything that's happening. So I'm like, okay, like, like, let me see her face. Like, I want to take her in. I'm not going to leave her out there. Come on, let me just see her face. Okay, I feel bad, I feel bad, I feel bad, I feel bad. Give me the baby, when she wakes up, when she wakes Tell up. Tell me that's fake. Tell me that's fake, Church. No, it's Tell me that's fake. Are you kidding? <laughs> you are such a good you boyfriend. Kidding? You're Baby. gonna be such oh an amazing God. father. Oh, you're are you gonna be such me? an amazing father. Are you kidding me, Baby? Oh my God, you are such a fake, Baby. Wait, I just want to take this second and really appreciate you. Are such an amazing man. Are you kidding Wait, me? Wait, listen to me for two seconds. You are such an amazing man, and you're gonna be such an amazing father. That was crazy. I was this a like, test to see on. if I'm a good no, no, dad? No, 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 It was not even a test like that. It wasn't even like a prank type of thing. I just kind of did it because I was like, why not just like come up with this little situation to see how you would react? And literally, like I felt like I was in this situation and I want to adopt this little baby from Target. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Come on, baby. I love you so much. <laughs> So me and this little baby here executed a lovely video on my boy Cam. I am so sorry, but I really do appreciate everything you said, and I know that you're gonna be a wonderful father. Appreciate it, but baby, honestly, you have some problems. Why? Setting all that up, doing that. It was well executed, right? That just makes it even more of a lit video. So TK family, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the Liz Cup channel here on YouTube. I do have a quick post notification shout out going to Max1. Thank you so much for having your post notifications turned on. And if you want a post notification shout out, all you need to do is subscribe, click that bell button and comment done and you have a chance to win a post notification shout out. So TK family, if you haven't already, be sure to go follow us on Instagram and TikTok and go check out TrishaandCamMerch.com to go cop that merch. And we'll see you guys in the next video.